What a week to be a WWE fan. We get treated to an incredible SummerSlam. Dominic, you sorry two-time son of a... And then we get treated to our first 2024 Panini WWE product. We have Prism first off the line today. We are chasing those beautiful, beautiful shimmers. And I've got an entire new rainbow to start chasing. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on wrestling fans? It is your boy RGL coming back to the squared circle for more. I am very, very excited for this one. Today we're ripping 2024 Prism. First off the line, looking for those Shimmer autographs, which are new this year. Of course, we are looking for many, many new wrestlers on this checklist, including the arrival of CM Punk and Jade Cargill. We also have a lot of rookies as well in Kalani Jordan and... Uh, Oba Femi, who, who's a great one down in NXT. A lot of NXT, so if you're not familiar with NXT, you're going to see a lot of faces that you're not used to. Who in the blue hell are you? A lot of new names that we're going to see in this checklist. I am super excited. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. As always, I do appreciate it. Like, we are one of the biggest wrestling channels here on YouTube in terms of oh, ripping, ripping boxes, doing reviews, and also breaking a lot of WWE. Shout out to my boys over on Whatnot, too. I know I know Whatnot gets a little bit of a bad rap, but I'm going to tell you right now, this wrestling trading card community that is multi-channel across YouTube, across Whatnot, across Facebook, across Twitter, amazing, amazing wrestling community. We have very tight-knit, and say what you will about Whatnot and some of the other stuff that goes on there, we have an amazing wrestling, wrestling community on there. So shout out to breakers like Medina, Ghost, shout out my boy Wholesale Jr., love him to death. Uh, but nonetheless, we are ripping, we are chasing new rainbows. That is what wrestling collectors do. We, we gotta have one copy of everything, right? That is, every wrestler has a super collector. Uh, this one is awesome. I believe it's a 300 card checklist. Hobby boxes will be releasing on Friday. They are coming in around $250, $300 a box. These were sold at Dutch Auction, floored at $350. You do get two additional parallels, numbered to 11 or less, blue shimmers. And also blue shimmers to 11, gold shimmers to 5. And also gold shimmer autographs as well are new this year. Also new this year, we have black color blasts and white color blasts. Now, I believe black color or white color blasts are coming out of Hobby and Fodal. Black color blasts are coming out of Prism Undercard. They have absolutely souped up Undercard, which is kind of like the fast break box. That one will be out in a couple of weeks. And we have a new black finite one of one. So last year we had the true black one of one. This year, they are adding the Finnet back on in. We don't know if that's exclusive to first off the line or not, and we don't know if there's going to be 25 color blasts per uh, photo box, you know, in lieu of the downtown situation with Optic last week. Uh, but nonetheless, I've just been very, very excited. WWE has been on a tear. We have a new world champion in Gunther. The Judgment Day has Im absolutely imploded. CM Punk first match back in WWE in 10 years. It is an incredible time. Roman? Roman back? Original Tribal Chief versus the fake Tribal... Oh my gosh, it is an incredible time to be a wrestling fan. If, I don't need to tell the wrestling fans that, but if you're not a wrestling fan, probably start watching Raw, probably start watching SmackDown, probably even start watching NXT where we've seen some absolute banger matches lately. But uh, yeah, here is our design, and there is the classic Hulk Hogan that is probably late 80s, early 90s Hogan, maybe, maybe early 90s Hogan right there. Uh, classic design. We've seen this design with uh, Prism Basketball. We've seen it with Prism Football. Nothing that we're not familiar with. A uh, lot of horizontal cards here. Sean Spears, Seth freaking Rollins, uh, R-Truth. Love me some R-Truth. John Cena. Uh, John Cena, of course, on his uh, farewell tour. There's going to be a new rookie. That's Eddie Thorpe from NXT. God, I love these photos. They're doing such a great job. I mean, look at... You can just tell the, like, the bokeh. The photography is just insane. Man, I will say, you know, we dog on Panini a lot. The one thing they have done right the last three years has been the the WWE license. I've never been more excited for wrestling cards. They've killed it compared to what Topps was doing before uh, they got the license. I love these cards to death. There's the Tribal Cheeks Rikishi. Uh, Akira Tazawa. Yeah, look at the photo. The photography is amazing. 
Silver, a priest. He just lost his belt. Ugh, that's such a good photo. First color is going to be Joe Coffee because you always got to pull some Joe Coffee. And a prismatic entrances of R Truth with the Miz in the background. So I'm hyped up. I'm juiced up to rip this. Uh, that is number to 49 on the teal. Two autographs per box and two shimmers as well. It's going to be Angelo Dawkins. There's our first uh, really good rookie, Jakara Jackson from the Metaphor. Forgot she is in the set. Uh, there's Tank Ledger from Hank and Tank down in NXT. Kevin Owens. There's your new world champion, Gunther, with the IC belt right there. This photography. There is our Jade Cargill card. This card is going to be legendary. Now, she does have cards with AEW previously, so she's been in a lot of AEW sets. So it's not a rookie card. They decided not to give her a rookie, even though this is her first WWE card. I kind of like that decision. Uh, I could have went with a rookie logo either. You could have done that as well. Uh, the Miz, Blair Davenport. I can't get over how good the photography is here. Luke Gallows, Silver Ivy Nile, Blue of Tatanka. And then we've got a uh, Emergent of Carmelo Hayes. So yes, this is this is an awesome set. Be breaking a ton of it. So if you want to hop in a WWE break, we break it by wrestlers' first names. We do letter style instead of like random teams. We do random letters. It's a lot of fun. And uh, we have a gold shimmer. Potentially our biggest card of the box right here. We have a gold shimmer. Look at this Asuka. Like this is going to be such a desirable card. Even for people who don't collect Asuka. Uh, there's JD McDonough. The Godfather. Great Godfather photo. Brinley Reese, a new one. I don't really... I'm not too familiar with Brinley, but she's down in NXT right now. One of your rookies. Omos. We have Gold Shimmer. Fallon Henley. That's a good photo of Fallon. She hasn't... Ooh, there's the Roman. The revival of the Roman Empire! There's the Roman with the ones up, man. I am so excited for this Bloodline Civil War. It's going to be amazing. Uh, we have Jake the Snake Roberts. Let's go behind our Shimmer. Odyssey Jones, very timely to pull this. He is now with the New Day. We got we got some little New Day controversy this past Monday on Raw. Uh, there's going to be a Roman on the WrestleMania moments. That's old Roman. And Legendary Auto. Oh, my God. We have a Legendary Gold Shimmer Auto. RVD. Rob Van Dam on the five-star Legendary Auto. That is going to be numbered to three. Three of three. Gold Shimmer. Rob Van Dam. Isn't that just disgusting that I knew it from that? If you, if, if there's ever any question, if I'm a WWE fan for life, the fact that I've never seen these cards before, I've never seen these photos, I saw that and I was like, oh, it's RVD. You're damn right it's RVD on the gear match to five. That is such a sick card. Three of three. I kind of wish it was 4 of 20, to be honest. You got RVD, the 5-star frog splash. Awesome card. Awesome card. Odyssey Jones. I'm geeked up over this set. Uh, to 149. The great thing about WWE is you can tell who loves it and who knows nothing about it as they uh, break it. But you got to get yourself with a breaker who loves it, who can tell you everything about everyone. That's how you do it, man. Uh, or a Mensa. You can you can fake some, some football knowledge, some basketball knowledge. You can't fake love and passion for WWE. Carmen Petrovic, a rookie in this one. I forgot about her. Uh, she's been doing some stuff down in NXT. Wesley, Scarlet, a little Terry Gordy throwback card. Sean Spears on the red wave. Uh, that is going to be Cora Jade. Cora Jade. She's been out of action for a while. Just like my girl Nikita. Uh, Rumble performances, AJ Styles. Uh, Cora going to be a red number to, I believe, 299 on these reds. Uh, yeah, red to 299. You get a ton of color. I mean, compared to your $1,000 Prism basketball boxes, football boxes, which are even more now, $250 for a hobby box, $275. Honestly, it's a good price. Now, three years ago, they tried to put out 2022 Prism at 1000 bucks, and that was never going to work. Uh, the whole market pretty much rejected it. But, uh, you know, I like the price of this one. I love my wrestling cards. Uh, there's our Kalani Jordan rookie. I believe she's the women's North American champion. Might have gotten that belt name wrong. Razor. Rest in peace to Bray. What a card. We're still honoring Bray Wyatt over a year after his passing. We got the Wyatt Six doing their thing. Bray should be celebrated. Finn. 
And uh, that is going to be a prismatic entrances of the Godfather. Which is funny because if this was a 2024 version, it would be called problematic entrances of the Godfather. Uh, Finn to 299, sick card. Kind of goes with his new character too, just... Uh, Stabbing his stabbing his uh his buddy his old buddy I should say Damian Priest in the back. Uh, we have only seen one of our autos so far. I don't know if the shimmer takes the place of a base shimmer or not, so I don't know if we're gonna get an extra shimmer. Uh, but we got Mojo to 25. Got more love for China. That's gonna be DX era China right there. Precious Paul Ellering, who used to many years ago manage Road Warriors, and now he's with uh, the New Testament. I think they're called the New Testament or the Testament. Alba Fire, Malik Blade, Lexus King, that's his first card in a WWE set. Uh, Duke Hudson, of course, we know he's the son of Brian Pillman. Raquel, and Mojo. Looks like maybe NXT Mojo, too. Nathan Frazier. I'm gonna tweet my displeasure. The wrong wrestler from NXT whose name starts with N. Nikita would have been so awesome there to start off my rainbow. And then a uh, rumble performances of Kane when he threw 11 over. And they got Kane with a mask. You don't want Kane without a mask. You want Kane cards with his mask. People much prefer that era of Kane. That is to 25 on the Nathan Frazier. He is a great wrestler, but man, we pull so much Nathan Frazier. We never want to see him. Uh, there's another Nathan Frazier. There's going to be Caden Carter. Sol Ruka, man. She's been making some waves down in NXT, pun intended. Carmelo. Wolfgang, interesting Sheamus card right there. Roxy with the belt, that one's going to be popular. Shout out Lefty. Baron Corbin, Apollo Crews, Carmen Petrovic on the uh, on the uh, Red Wave. Auto, sensational. Acom, Acom from the t uh, from the Testament. Or, uh, and then Stone Cold on the WrestleMania moments. That's going to be an iconic one, especially the color. The golds, the blacks so of that card will sell for very well. I'm very curious to see what the Petrovics and the Kalani Jordans and the Cora, or not Cora, uh, Jade Cargills. I'm very curious to see what the new crop, who have never had a card in a WWE set before, sell for. Uh, Gigi Dolan, I'm interested to see their market. Scripps. Yeah, Nikola Volkov. Brian Pillman, along with his son Lexus King, who's in the set too. That's cool. Chad Gable. Uh, Booker T. We got Ilya Dragunov. Rey Mysterio. Xavier Woods. Red wave of the Hulkster. And then a red of Angelo Dawkins to 299. And on the back, a WrestleMania moments of a young Hogan. Man, Hogan is all over this product. Hogan, they put in like every set, multiple cards, multiple inserts, autos. Hogan makes it in everything. All right, we've got four packs left. I'm curious to see what the rock card look like. Let's see if it's from this year, part of the final boss. And we've got our Shimmer. This might be our second Shimmer. Thea Hale, she's good. I feel like they're going to call her up soon. Riley Osborne, rookie. Got Miles Bourne. Lyra Valkyria. Umaga. Rest in peace to Umaga. Ken Shamrock. Isla Dawn. Ooh, that's a crazy card. Is that like on... What? What is that even from? That's a crazy card of Isla Dawn. She's been growing in popularity lately as well. Diamond Dallas Page. Yeah, never give DDP a good photo. Great Kali. Great Kali is in. Shimmer right there. What do we have behind the Shimmer? Uh, that is going to be a Pulsar of Wesley. Uh, those are numbered to 499 this year. Wow. Very high number. Uh, Undertaker is a heartbreaker on the WrestleMania moments from uh, his match against the Undertaker or against uh, Sean when he retired him. And Shimmer. Shimmer to 11. Hand up. Ooh, I don't know. I was able to get the last one. I don't know yet. Cena? No, it's Sir William Regal. Okay. With the European Championship. Man, I love me some William Regal. I have a gold of his. That is 5 of 11 on the Sir William Regal. So now I'm really curious if the... If the Shimmer Auto took the place of an Auto or if it took the place of a Shimmer. I'm very curious how these photo boxes are going to work. I guess we're going to find out. It would be a shame if that took the place of both and we don't get another Auto or another Shimmer. I can't imagine that being the case, but uh, we'll see. We will see. Uh, there's going to be a Rizzo. I think it's going to take the place of a first off the line, personally. Uh, Noem Dar. Michin. Carl Anderson. 
Uh, Grayson Walla. The Balla. Uh, Chelsea Green. Naomi. So this is no, Naomi's first uh, Panini WWE card. She, of course, had cards with tops. But I believe this is her first. I don't think she was in, like, 22 Prism. So I know Naomi, you know, out with uh, Sasha Banks, I think. I don't know if she was in 22 Prism. I feel like she wasn't. Uh, Mark Coffey. Yeah, we have another auto. Blue Sensational right here. Of Lola. Lola Vice. I think this is actually her first auto. Prismatic Entrance is Kofi. I'm trying to remember. Lola have... I think she only had a base card in iMac. She didn't have one in... Yeah, she didn't have one in Elite. She didn't have one in Select, only a base card. I think this is Lola's first auto to 49. So I think that this is actually a pretty solid hit. I think we got two really solid autos in this box. Shout out Hammy and shout out all the Lola collectors. Uh, yeah, that one's that one's good. I know I'm going to get hit up for that one. We will take a Lola auto. I had to think about that. Not a rookie because her rookie cards were in 2023 uh, Panini sets. But I believe that's her first auto in a Panini set. LA Knight. Uh, Rhea, I don't think she was in Chronic. Was she in Chronic? I don't think so. Indy Hartwell, Bailey, Johnny Gargano. There's going to be Devon Dudley. Get the tables. Adam Pierce, Josh Briggs, Wesley, Red, Wolfgang to 299, and Undertaker on the WrestleMania moments. All right. All right, sports fans, as, I, as my base cards go tumbling everywhere. We're down to our last pack of the day. Absolutely love this product. I love our hit so far. We could finish off. We haven't even seen so much as a single Nikita base yet. Her card is also a horizontal card. Not my favorite. I like vertical photography personally. But uh, yeah, let's see what we get in this final pack here. Eo, Cora. And we didn't even get a single base card to start the rainbow. Road Dog, Alexa. When is she coming back? Red Sinclair rookie, Shotzi. Silver Finn. Just great cards. Love me some Earthquake. John Tenta, Earthquake. And we're going to wrap it up with the Ultimate Warrior. So, love the set. I cannot say enough good things about what Panini has done with the WWE licensing. I'm going to be sad when we lose it and we get Topps Chrome back. We see kind of what Fanatics has done with UFC uh, compared to what Panini did with UFC. Overall, though, um, I'm okay with this box. I liked our RVD to 3. I liked our Lola Vice. Pretty good box today. WWE always treats me right. I'm very curious to know what like Petrovic and Kalani Jordan stuff does. I'm very curious to see what CM Punk stuff sells for. He has had cards going back to 2007 all the way from Topps 2017, 2007 through 2014. So he has had a lot of Topps cards already. He had AEW cards. Uh, I want to know what his first Panini WWE cards will do. I guess he was in iMac. Nathan Frazier to 25. We have that beautiful Bray Wyatt tribute. Uh, Finn, Cora Jade, Odyssey Jones, very timely, and uh, Joe Coffey. Camera really does not like the, the set, apparently, for some reason. Uh, best hits of the day, Sensational Signatures to 49, Lola Vice, RVD to, five, or to 3 on the Legendary Signatures, and then also the William Regal was our other shimmer to 11. All right, WWE fans, what do you think? How much prism are you going to be ripping? Hopping into those pick your wrestler breaks over on whatnot. Are you going to hang out with us and do some random letter style breaks? We're going to be ripping this one for months to come. I'm not quite sure what our next WWE set is. We don't know how long Panini will have the WWE license. In a perfect world, it would be for always and forever because it, they have done a fantastic job. Absolutely killed all these sets. Uh, it's one of the few things that I will give Panini very, very high praise for because they have made a lot of dumb decisions elsewhere and made a lot of mistakes elsewhere. It only keeps getting better with WWE, I will say that. So we are very spoiled as wrestling trading card collectors to uh, just continually get great sets from them. That is my time for today. Take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you on down the road, brother.